This video is brought to you by Dynamic Custom Beadworks. Head over to dynamicbeadworks.com now to get your own custom video game sprite. You got the touch. You got the power. And while that's going on, I need to submit an email. The trick is to keep the lid on. Now, let it cook for one minute. You like cooking, don't you? Good for you. Kinda even... Even she's like, Sonny's like, You're fucking mocking me, aren't you? <laughs> When it turns out good, it means something good is gonna happen. Uh -huh. So that's why you don't cook them over easy. <clears throat> but the secret to good cooking is to keep who's going to eat it in mind. Is this your mother? Yes. She's really beautiful. That tune you're humming, it's from the periodic table, isn't it? <clears throat> Thorium, Cotactinium, Uranium, Neptunium, Plutonium, Americium. Americium. Ah. Uh, curium. 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 That's it. Curium. <laughs> oh, this? I love the smoking mornings. What time should we do the giveaway? Uh, I'm not sure. Like, is there a good chunk of you in here right now? Let's see. Demi, Raven, KFAM, Guido, Rivance. 
Dr. Emmerich, Liquid is in Eastern Europe. He's after the corpse of Big Boss. Huh? What for? It's the final key he needs to gain access to SOP. Is MGS Rising Revengeance canon? Yes, it is. Genetic code and biometric Did I miss anything? Dude, you missed the hypest cutscene of all time. Raiden showed up. Access. Wait, what's Liquid been doing all this time? Hell yeah, dude. He's Intense taco. Intense taco. Yeah, this game's tests. awesome. The first using so the bad touch. Hell yeah. DNA chip. In his second uh, we're missing Gora Clown. And biometric data extracted from Let's see, experiment. we're also missing Tectonic. What's the need for the original if a substitute works just Uh, Dark Star Chef. Couple people missing, I don't know. Neither your genetic pattern nor liquid genetic Those 24 hour briefing scenes, yeah. <laughs> What do you mean we don't match? <laughs> Dr. Emmerich. Hmm? Scientifically speaking, there's the markers implanted during the cloning process. The mixing of mitochondrial DNA with the egg cell. The intentionally altered terminate, terminator genes, scientifically speaking. Both you and Liquid are as similar to Big Boss as you could possibly be, but you're still different. Different? Yes. That's what Liquid was talking about. So while this is going on, I'm actually looking at my treat stream page to see if I got approved for that. So if you guys ever, like, feel the need, like, you want to do something for the channel and you don't necessarily want to donate money, uh, if I get the treat stream thing working, you can actually send me food. <laughs> The AI that controls the system employs a highly aggressive, advanced IDS. It uses a special code to inspect all data and commands circulating within the network. Any data that fails to conform to that code is treated as a foreign object and expunged, like viruses killed by white blood cells. The authentication program this IDS uses is based on the genetic identification program, one I helped develop for Foxdie. It's set up so that host commands only execute properly if the key matches perfectly. However, if the IDS suspects someone is trying to break into the system, it registers that genetic code on a blacklist. That code is then blocked and can never again be used to access the system. So, if you're going to use a substitute, you need to find a new genetic access code with each new trial. So when Liquid accessed the system in the Middle East and South America, it was only a test. I can't believe this. Snake and Big Boss don't have the same genetic code? Strictly speaking, Snake and Liquid aren't the same either. Yeah, this I don't mind ramen Fox noodles. Guy only affected Liquid at Shadow Moses. And spared you. Let's put it this way. If Liquid uses Big Boss's genetic code, the original, he'll have the system completely under his control. Hold on. I thought having his code wasn't enough. You need his biometric data at the same time, don't you? That's right. And Big Boss is already dead. No. He's alive. Big Boss is alive. 
His body is. Or rather, his cells. That's impossible. Big Boss survives as a biomort. A brain-dead shell sustained in the lab. Liquid has already left for Europe in search of Big Boss's body. Right from the start, he knew his experiment in South America wasn't going to work. Europe, huh? If Liquid obtains the body, He'll be primed to make his final move. Hmm. Allowing him total control of the system. Exactly. Unless we can stop him first. Heating up the R and D race. No. <clears throat> it's not just the PMCs either. Every corporation tethered to the military-industrial complex is losing its sense of morality, and it's us science holics who are doing their dirty work for them, not even realizing it. Can we make Jack better? I don't know. Sunny. Man. <laughs> oh my, submission notification. It's no use. There's nothing we can do here. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Look at this. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was uh, resubmitting my um, needs dialysis. treat stream application. We don't have the proper equipment. Dialysis? Getting his wounds healed is important too. But at this rate, he's not going to last that long. Dialysis? Is that like what k kidneys do? That's right. Raiden's blood is an older type of artificial blood that was used by the military. Called white blood. After it's been in use for a while, the blood needs to be dialyzed. Filtered. Right now, he's slipping into autotoxemia.
Dr. Madnar. I've heard of him. A world-renowned cybernetics expert. Strictly underground, though. We're in luck, then. It's settled. We must head for Europe. The sooner we get there, the oh, better. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll call Campbell and have him get a sugar there just chilling eating chips. <laughs> Actually, oh, a snake. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to be spewing up poison soon enough anyway. What's one more smoke got to hurt? Uh-uh. This is a no smoking flight. Listen here, lady. Yes, exactly. Never give him a glass. <laughs> Shifty bitch. sister. I never knew you had a sister. For a moment I thought she might have been your girlfriend. No, I, I don't have a... Emma was a brilliant programmer. She wrote the worm that destroyed the Arsenal Gear AI. Then... Vamp killed her. No, there's nothing for you to be sorry. Except for the, the fact that you made oh, Vamp the way he is. Just saying. I used to be an anime otaku. Oh. So, that's where Otacon comes from. I was always fascinated by sci-fi anime. That's what got me into this line of work. It's too bad reality wasn't so simple. I never even imagined that science... That my own research would cause so much misery. Oh, really? Dan's gaming's already doing Dead Rising? Jerk. I mean, it's not like a science holics or Satanists or anything. But even when we've got the best of intentions, we end up being used by others for evil. Dr. Emrak. Uh, you see this? Sunny helped me build it. Really? Sunny helped build this? We built it using top secret docs and patents dug up from intranets at a bunch of research labs. To tell you the truth, I think she's better at it than I am. But she's just a child. And? She cracked the protection on your mail. Well, I, um, uh, assumed it was you. <laughs> Sunny was taken by the Patriots right after she was born. She never even met her parents. She spent her entire childhood inside the net. That 
that's why she has trouble speaking. Her home is in the computer. She can only see the outside from the inside. She's always in there, searching for herself, searching for her family. She's trying to find out who she is and where she's going. Searching for herself and her family. She believes she can find the answers inside a machine hooked up to the world. She spends every day inside the net, exploring. For Sunny, this is home. No. <laughs> uh, you have boobs and I'm socially awkward. Get away, lady. <laughs> Hasn't even been born yet. She's He's like, oh god life. damn it, will you two shut up? <laughs> she needs to live a real life. But Sonny's never shown any interest in leaving the nomad. Frankly, I'm worried about letting her go out there. I have a feeling she'll do just fine. You really think she'll be okay going outside? That's not what I meant. I think she's got a good handle on her science. Ah. Uh, uh, sorry. Go on. Huh? You were about to say something. Oh. Uh, right. Um. Would you mind if I helped Sunny with her cooking? Oh, of course not. Go ahead. <laughs> but, uh, about all we've got on board besides military rations are eggs. No. Leave them on. It makes you look handsome. <laughs> you think so? Snake's like, I want to light this fucking cigarette, <laughs> but that tiny woman will get on my case, yeah. <laughs> Day 50, I'm having nightmares that this sunny girl will take away my cigarettes from me in a constant loop. P.S. Sunny sucks at cooking. <laughs> uh, Dr. Emmer? Huh? Is it okay to sleep in here? Excuse me? Well, Dr. Emmerich. Um. I oh my to... god! I know it's easy to forget sometimes, but oh, I uh... am a woman. <laughs> you understand. Sorry. I. I know it's selfish of me, but I'd like to be alone for a while. Right. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> uh, I'll show you. Thank you. Ah, uh, God, for Christ's sake, Jesus. <laughs> oh, God, they're gonna do the bad dance. <laughs> Chickens are all like, hey, you guys are gonna screw her what? <laughs> Give her the vitamin D already, Otacon. <laughs> Good night, Dr. Emmerich. If you get uncomfortable or anything, just let me know. I'll be out there working. Cleavage! <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Uh, and, uh... Yes? <laughs> Call me. Good night, Hal. Oh. 
Oh my god! <laughs> Is that a nose ring? What? Uh, yeah, I have no idea what you're talking about, Fisker. Yeah, Snake's just imagining how he would fuck it up. had an erection that that entire plane would not have been able to contain. She looked like she had a small nose ring. Ah, oh, I gotcha. Snake, a national state of emergency. <laughs> In an effort to Damn, Demi. The local resistance. The hunt is being Day 50. At age 36, Otacon finally came a man. Companies <laughs> under outer heaven's control. Which means that liquid's lurking somewhere behind the scenes. Right. And at the top of the target list is the Paradise Lost Army. The resistance group led by Big Mama. Snake. You'll be infiltrating the region where they are believed to house their base of operations. It looks as if the PMCs moved swiftly, cutting off Big Mama and Company's escape routes. They should still be hiding somewhere in that area. Big Boss's corpse is bound to be with them. You've been added to the PMC's blacklist, so you're going to have to lie about your identity to get in. I've provided you with a way to evade the checkpoints. Make contact with the Resistance and find Big Mama. This is our last chance. We must reach Big Boss's body before they do. <gasps> Ugh. Whew. Excuse me. Be right back, tweet me if Ocelot shows up. Okay. Next. Next. Hey, you deaf? Take him away. <laughs> You're coming with me. I said over here. <laughs> Take him from here. But we've been looking for this man. Yes, ma'am. Come with me. Next. <laughs> I walked away.
actually ashamed while Snake is laughing at me saying, I knew you'd fuck this up. <laughs> You're looking younger. What's your secret? Face camo. A little present from the tentacles. Huh. The PMCs sure seem to know you well enough. You may not believe it, but I'm in charge of overseeing all PMC activity. Having connections can still open doors. You alone? Oh my god! What is wrong with that guy? Listen to me, Snake. After reporting what happened in the Middle East to my superiors, I wrote up a threat assessment. The President's finally realized the danger Liquid's little rebellion poses and has called for immediate action. Now I've got more bodies than I know what to do with. A whole joint Army Marines team. We're already on site, mixed in with the U.S. forces here. We're ready to strike Liquid at any time. You're planning to take him by force? Crazy. Look, things aren't that simple. <sighs> Listen, old man. Yeah, there's a lot of dialogue I in this game. Orders from you or from your Colonel Campbell. Uh, it's gonna be the Middle East all over again. No, it won't. If things get out of hand, we can put a total lockdown on the PMC's weapons. They won't be able to fight back. Don't forget, we control the system. I wouldn't rely too much on the system if I were you. We've got them beat in sheer numbers. Meryl. Look, Snake. Just leave this to me. There's no need for you to put yourself in harm's way. Don't risk your life for no reason. Snake. What you're trying to do, it's not a mission. I know. It's not justice. It's a hired hit. If you know, then... Look, our ways of thinking might be different. But to me, you're still a legend, a hero. I know all about the things you did when you were young. It was what kept me going. I can't bear to watch you die over something so pointless. Huh. Don't worry about me. Old soldiers never die. <coughs> Your cause is our cause now. You don't have to do this. Senile to face the truth. Wake up and face reality, old snake. Damn, everybody fucking with my psych meter. <laughs> 